you, you referenced earlier you don't have any kids. I do not. That has helped me succeed as well. Some people want kids. Some people don't want kids. I think a lot of people have kids before they even think about it. Honestly, the older we get, the more happy and reaffirmed we are with our choice to not have kids. Me and my wife seem to get a lot more active enjoyment out of not having kids than anyone I know seems to get out of having kids. <laughs> you, you referenced earlier you don't have any kids. I do not. That has helped me succeed as well. <laughs> Definitely. Really? Oh, yeah. There's a whole huge thing I'm not doing which is raising children. <laughs> <laughs> would it, people, obviously, someone would be listening, but yeah, but it would make you happier. You know, someone might say that. I'm trying to rebuttal. I don't think it would. I've been around, obviously, a lot of children. I'm not, I'm not ignorant to what it's like to, I've, I've seen everyone I know has kids. I, I see, I'm a, you know, I'm 40 again, you know, like it's not, I, I know, you know, I've, I've, some of my friends have had kids for decades, you know, um, some people want kids. Some people don't want kids. I think a lot of people have kids before they even think about it. From what I've seen, honestly, you just are told. You go through life. You get married. You have kids. It's what happens. Um, and and me and my wife were just, neither of us were like that, you know? And um, honestly, the older we get, the more happy and reaffirmed we are with our choice to not have kids. Like, it was something we kind of talked about more and we we're like, are we made the right choice? Are we sure now if more than anything, the conversation is like, honestly, thank God we don't have children. We get to do whatever we want. We are in our, we are, we are in the, the prime of our lives. We are smarter than we've ever been. We understand ourselves more than we ever have. We have the capacity to achieve a level of work and a level of communication and care for one another and a lifestyle we can live with one another that we've never been able to live before and we can just do that and we don't have to raise a child which the the world does not need right now <laughs> and so that was and so yeah it's uh we're, we're very happy uh, with our choice to not have kids and I just, I work I, I, I work with a lot of people with kids and I see definitively that I uh, have more time to both do the things I need to do and the things I enjoy doing than they do. <laughs> and not to say their kids don't bring them joy, but I, I say this truthfully. I, 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 me and my wife seem to get a lot more active enjoyment out of not having kids than anyone I know seems to get out of having kids. <laughs> a bit of a left field one, but have you um, observed a, a point in your, your trajectory where you become somewhat so successful or somewhat, you know, so famous that happiness begins to decline. No. <laughs> do, do, do they... um, it was never like, being famous was never like a goal for me. You know what I mean? And so I don't have like this, this complicated thing where I was like, I was trying to become famous and then I got famous and I realized being famous sucks. I always thought being famous kind of would suck a little bit. And so the idea that it is, you know, it's great in a lot of ways and it, and it does suck in, in some ways, but that's not honestly a thing that I have a very conflicted relationship with. I've also been pretty famous since I was like 23 years old and get like, like it's been, a, you know, it's been a very long time since I got pretty famous. So I've had a lot of different relationships with it throughout that time, uh, you know, almost 20 years, I guess. And where I've been at for quite some time has been a pretty good place. And again, I have a lot of famous friends. I see them have much rockier roads dealing with it than I do, you know? Um, yeah, and as far as success goes, like, no. Like, if anything, it's like, great. Like, we, I get to work with the best, you know, the filmmakers that inspired me to make movies in the first place. I get to you know, uh, make, you know, I, they, they bring us Ninja Turtles. I get to make a movie out of a thing I've loved since I was a kid. We just sold a show to Apple that I'm writing and directing and starring in with, um, with my partner. So we can come up with original ideas and do whatever the fuck we want, you know? And so, uh, what's the cost? There's no cost. <laughs> I don't have kids. 
<laughs> if I felt guilty that I was not being a good father, that would suck. I do not have that feeling at all. <laughs> we, we have a we have a closing tradition on this podcast where the last guest leaves a question for the next guest. Okay, not, great. Not knowing who they're leaving it for. And we have a new tradition on this podcast, which I'll talk to you about. Great. The, the, the question left for you. Yeah. Okay, the handwriting is not the best. <laughs> um, who left it? I can't tell okay, you. Okay, good. It's a secret. Looking back on your love life, okay, can you see patterns in it, good or bad? And what was the greatest love of your life? What did it feel like? And how has it affected you up until this present moment? And I guess this is a good time to slide that to you. There you go, Lauren. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I made a whole movie about how I was not well-liked in high school by women. And yeah, I was never... Uh, no, Lauren, my wife, was the first serious relationship I ever had. Um, I felt deeply in love with her very fast. We essentially moved in together after like a week and uh, almost have not spent any like significant time apart since then. You know, um, we've never broken up. We've never had any serious issue throughout the entire uh, time we've been together, which has been like 17 years or something like that. Um, and if anything, she has like really helped me do better work. She's been a real supporter. And also she herself is a brilliant writer and director and filmmaker. And she's been, you know, a very at times kind of direct voice in, in improving our work. I think the most tangible thing is the movie Neighbors, which we've talked about in the past, which is our most successful movie we've made. And and one of the things people really liked about it specifically was the relationship between me and, and Rose Byrne's character and how we are a couple, you know, traditionally in comedy for years. In my entire childhood, pretty much, it's like the comedic dynamic of a married couple was they hated each other. That was the joke. They fucking hated each other. They, they got on each other's nerves. They didn't like spending time together. The woman was usually annoying. The guy was usually cool and laid back. That was it. That was the comedic dynamic that essentially was like frozen into movie, you know, <laughs> forever. And and Lauren was the one who was like, what if it's like us and they fucking like each other and they both like to smoke weed and they both do stupid things and they both go out and party. And I'm not telling you ever to not do something fucking stupid. If anything, I'm doing stupid things too. And we put that in the movie and it, completely changed the dynamic. And I honestly think it's like one of the reasons the movie became so like liked and, and successful. And, and so that's like a specific example. And there's, there's many like, what's life like that. without her though? Um, they're, 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 thank God there's not a whole lot of life without her. We hang out a lot. Uh, and I, I don't really leave LA to make movies anymore. Honestly, part of the reason is I just like spending time with her and, and I don't like leaving Los Angeles as a result of it. I used to, travel much more to make movies and shoot movies in other cities and it sucked and I would go weeks, we'd go weeks without seeing each other and and ultimately you're just like, this isn't worth it. Like, this is my life. Like, this is like, like, I'm not like saving up to cash in on something later. Like, I'm, I'm living my life not being surrounded by the people I want to be surrounded by so I can go make a movie. And like, that, that, that at times might be worth it but I've done everything I can to not have that happen. And if you are willing to make a little less money, you can m more often than not shoot a movie in Los Angeles. <laughs> if you love the Diary of a CEO brand and you watch this channel, please do me a huge favor, become part of the 15% of the viewers on this channel that have hit the subscribe button. It helps us tremendously and the bigger the channel gets, the bigger the guests.